What's going on, everybody? I'm Tank, and this is another episode of Roadie Reactions. In today's reaction video, it's fucking shadow of intent time once again. And I am super fired up about this, man. I feel like it was just yesterday that we got the music video for Intensified Genocide, which was their last big official release. And honestly, I thought it showed the overall growth and evolution of their sound. And it makes me really excited for their future releases. Now, speaking of future releases, they just announced a brand new studio album. Now that album is going to be called Elegy and it comes out on January 14th, 2022. Now, while the band does have a distributor that handles the releases of their music, I think it's a cool thing to remember. These guys have not signed to a record label, man. They are in full control of everything they're doing. And when you hear their music and see their product, it's exactly the way that they intended you to receive it. Now, pre-orders for Elegy are already live. I've checked out a couple things before I started this video just to see what they have. Some really cool merch. There is a vinyl, which you guys know me. I'm probably going to buy that right after I do this reaction, and it'll be on the wall one of these days. But if you would like to support the band, I will throw a link below where you can check out all those pre-orders and pre-save or pre-add on your streaming services if you'd like to. But let's not waste any more time, man. I'm super stoked. I will link this original video in the description below. And today, I'm once again listening to Shadow of Intent and for the first time, checking out their brand new music video for the song From Ruin, We Rise. Let's go. Alright, before we get to what I'm assuming is the chorus of this, this is interesting, man, because this is what I would consider for a band like Shadow of Intent, a slow song. And I think a lot of other metalheads know what I'm talking about. It's really interesting because this isn't what I was expecting for a single. Usually with releases like this, I'm just, I'm expecting something like really brutally over the top along the lines of intensified genocide like we got and then we got their cover of laid to rest by lamb of god this is more of a orchestrated well thought out just like i have a feeling we're not going to get anything in this song that's like cheap for lack of a better term um and what i mean by that is like them relying on breakdowns and crazy super fast drum parts and stuff like that i don't think we're going to get any of that in this song I think this is going to end up being exactly like the vibe that we have right now. It has a more serious tone to it. And after I finish this, I want to go read the lyrics and see what this is about. Um, I don't want to break into any gear yet, even though I'm not going to lie. I have it all already. I don't even need to look at this video anymore. I've got all their gear picked out, but I want to talk about that pyro, but we'll come back to that. Let's keep going. Father, 
All right, before this next part. So I'm picking out some vocals here and there. There are some parts I'm not going to lie, I'm not catching. But yeah, I'm getting the fact that this is a, or the the feeling that this is a very, like, serious song. Um, I'll try and dig into that when I edit. Maybe we can get the backstory to this. Um, I love the vocal layering that Ben does in all of their songs, man. It's just, he is so versatile with his voice and everything that they stack on top of each other just combines to make the most brutal, powerful vocals. But aside from Ben, the clean vocal melodies that came in were such a good little touch on that, man. Really, really liked that. Um, so let's talk about gear really fast. Um, it's not going to be anything in depth. I'm just going to blast through everything because I've broken down Shadow of Intent gear before, and pretty much everything in this video is the same as Intensified Genocide. So Bryce, the newest member of the band, their drummer, also the happiest goddamn drummer in the history of the world. If you've never watched any of his playthrough videos, I would highly recommend it. I've never seen a musician having more fun than this guy. It's amazing. So he's been with the band a little over a year now, if I'm remembering that correctly. He's also played for other artists like The Faceless and Abigail Williams and Galactic Empire and stuff like that. But he is a endorsed artist of Tama Drums and Sabian Cymbals. I believe he's using Evans for all of his drum heads as well. And then moving over to Andrew on bass, same bass that we saw in the last music video, it's an LTD from ESP, which LTD is like their mid-range line, but it's a signature bass. It's actually the FMJ 400, which is Frank Bello from Anthrax's signature bass. Um, I've never had my hands on that one specifically, but I'd be willing to guess it's a pretty great bass, just considering. I mean, it's got EMG pickups in it. I think... A PHZ and an LJHZ, if I remember that correctly. Um, and then the only thing new in this video that we didn't, I haven't seen from Chris um, before, is he's once again playing an Ibanez, but he's using an RG Prestige. And I actually saw that specific one on their website recently. It's one of my favorite looking RGs they make with that like black wood grain finish on it. Pretty sick guitar, man. And as we've talked in this channel, the Prestige line from Ibanez is pretty close to the top of the line that you can get. Those guitars are made in their custom shops in Japan or at their factory in Japan. And the Prestige line is what they take pride in that they actually work with artists and they actually talk to them and find out what they want out of a guitar. So they're very much made to be used on the road and in the studio and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it for gear. That is it for gear. Let's hear some more. I'll talk about all these flames at the end because there is some pretty cool stuff going on, but let's just enjoy this more.
really quick before we continue, I just want to say one thing. Um, while the drums did start picking up and it started getting a little heavier than what we were getting at the start of it, it still felt very natural. There was nothing forced about it. Like, I know I said they weren't going to rely on any like really sped up drums or breakdowns or anything like that. That felt very natural and it fit the flow of the song very well. Very good songwriting, man. I really liked that. Great vocals. All right, we're at the end. I didn't get my chance to break down Pyro. Let's rewind a little. We'll finish this, and then if you want to hear about Pyro, I'll talk about it. Another Joey Durango video, man. Uh, for anybody not familiar, Joey Durango works with a lot of bands in this scene. Recently did some of the Lorna Shore stuff. Um, that was great, man. A lot of pyro budget in this one. And that's what I wanted to talk about. So towards the last chorus there, we saw some projectiles and stuff. But throughout the whole video, you're seeing two different looks. Now in the back, the flames that are moving and the flames that you see back there... That's all liquid-based pyro. So rather than it being like propane, it's a liquid mix that's similar to just isopropyl alcohol. And you pressurize the unit, you spray the liquid out through pilot light, and it shoots that tight, narrow flame. Now, I saw them moving, so the units that they have definitely have movers on them. Some don't. And then closer to the downstage by the band... That could be one of a couple different things, but I actually just think it's as simple as a propane-based burn bar. And what that is, is piping that has a ton of different holes in it. And you shoot the gas through it. And then you light it with a pilot light and it can come up at separate points. And you can close them. If it's rigged a certain way, you could close the openings and then reopen them to make some of the patterns that you were seeing on there. So... It's actually a pretty simple setup, but it's used a lot on tours and live shows and stuff like that because it looks great and propane is fairly cheap. It's not really over the top. Um, you start getting expensive with pyro for live shows and stuff when you're dealing with actual like explosives and projectiles and stuff like that. That's why you see a lot of tours that will just use flames because it's not too bad. Dogs are going apeshit. Apparently they liked it. Um, but that was fantastic, man. And one of the things that I really liked about that is like, for me, no headbanging necessary. Like I could just sit here and appreciate that entire song from start to finish. Masterful writing. The mixing was incredible. It sounded great. I loved it. I'm going to look up the lyrics to this and listen to it again, and then we'll go talk about it. Now, after listening to that song again and reading along with the lyrics, I've got to say, Saying that that sounded like a serious song kind of feels like an understatement. And if you've made it this far in the video, 
You've already seen that in my editing process, I've thrown in a lot of information about what this is about. So we know that the lyrics are about the suffering that's going on in the Ukraine. And it's a very serious issue, man. And I honestly have to commend the band for tackling something like this with their lyrics. They could have written about anything and they chose something very serious that's going on in another part of the world to hopefully make people more aware of what's going on. And that's great when bands can use music to really reach people and make people more aware of things they might not know that are going on, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But man, this is now our second song we've heard off of this upcoming album, and I cannot wait for this thing, man. Not only have both songs been absolutely excellent, but they've been a little different, a little different taste of what this band can do, and I think it's great. I think this is going to be a phenomenal album. I'm gonna pre-order it the second I finish this, and as a reminder, I will throw links below where you can go do the same if you would like to support the band. But thank you guys very much once again. I appreciate you all watching, and if this is your first time here, feel free to click subscribe. I release new videos all the time. Subscribing is free, and it helps my channel out a ton. If you enjoyed this reaction, I would greatly appreciate the like as that also helps the channel. But if you disliked it, no big deal, man. Thank you very much for your time. You are free to click dislike if you didn't like it. I'm also on a ton of social media. I have a Discord server we hang on often. I have a Twitch where I stream from time to time. I play video games. I do tech work on guitars. We do live reactions every now and then. So if that's interesting to any of you guys, I'll have links below where you can check all that stuff out. My handle on everything social media related is at tank the tech. Thank you so very much once again for watching. I will be back very soon with another episode of roadie reactions.